Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear sister. The message reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? I am a woman who is aged 37 years old. I have come here on your platform wanting to tell you how I stole my boss lady's husband. When I started working for my boss lady, this was like many, many years ago, before she died, I was the one who killed her. But I did not even feel anything for her husband. You know that men, them being men, you can just see that sometimes they will be looking at you funny. But I never bothered to look at him. I'll just ignore him. And at that time, when he would look at me, I will just look to the side because I did not want to disturb my job, my life by dating my boss lady's husband. At that time, that was when my boss lady started mistreating me. I don't know why she chose to mistreat me in such a way. I don't want to lie. The way that she was mistreating me, it was like she was pushing me, saying that I want you to date my man. It was so bad that I even lost self-confidence. She would say that you do not look beautiful. You are so ugly. Your body is not beautifully made. You do not have the curves in the right places. You do not even know how to dress. So, so there were times when she would have given me the money. Then I would go to town. Then I would buy some makeup. And when I would put on the makeup, then she would laugh at me. And she will say that you do not even know what you are doing. You are so ugly. Even if my husband will see you naked. I don't think that my husband can even try to sleep with you and her husband will be sitting right next to her. So when you are a woman, then when another woman starts to hurt you in such a way, then what you'll be thinking about is just sleeping with her man. That is all that I started thinking about. Then there was this other day, my madam boss had gone out. So I was sleeping on the couch. Well, at least I was sleeping on the couch. That was when her husband walked in. He looked at me and he smiled. Brother Nashi, purposefully, I had been wearing this short mini skirt and I had everything out. He looked at me and he saw that nice. That was what he wanted to see all along. I even opened up my leg so that he can see what was between my legs. He then went out, but I could tell that this man, he was now a confused man by what I had done to him. He came back and he said, why were you smiling at me earlier on? And I said, I was smiling at you because I want you. He was like surprised and he said, so do you want us to do it? And I said, yeah, I do want, but not today. We have to give each other some time. You know, when we are free, that is when we are supposed to do it. So we waited until one day when the boss lady was not at home. He then called me into his bedroom. Then we did it. It was not like I enjoyed it because uh, this guy, he, he is like a very small manhood. I do not even enjoy anything. And he's that type of a man that I can call a true minute noodle guy even though i got married to him it is just because i just wanted his assets that is all but i'll just pretend and scream on top of my voice and i'll be like you are killing me you are killing me i had never slept with a man like you before you are a beast in bed this was to make him love me more and more than he would love his wife and you know men what they are like he then told me that his wife in bed does not do certain actions she does not scream she does not do anything and i will listen closely if he will tell me that his wife does not want to do that style that they call dog style then the next time when we will be doing it then i'll be like daddy daddy please promise me that to tonight you're going to give me dog style please please i can even go on my knees and I'll be like, please, I am begging you, my love. Can you try to do it from the back? Because the way that you are so good, I really like it. So you will see the guy smiling and then I will know that, yeah, I am doing a good job. So I then became his personal favorite. He started giving me more money be behind my boss lady's back. He gave me a lot of money. Then there was the day that we got caught. So what happened was that my boss lady, she had gone to work. So when she had gone to work, we thought that uh, me and her husband, we were going to enjoy life. So he had gone out, but it was just a disguise. He was supposed to return back home. He told me that I was supposed to quickly finish up all of my duties so that we can enjoy. We wanted to do it in the living room. So what had happened earlier on in the morning was that 
my boss lady when she was going to work that was when she met one of her friend who told her that she wanted some vegetables from her house so my boss lady then said okay you can take these keys like the spare keys for the gate so we did not even know that this is what had happened so we were like free and we knew that the kids they will be back from school starting from around 2 to 3 p.m so after i had finished doing my job around 11 a.m the guy came and we then started waking each other up we said let's do it in the living room because we do not have so much space when she is here we wanted to enjoy life so brother nashi we knew that for the boss lady to return back home she was supposed to call her husband so that the husband can go and pick her up when we were busy with each other that was when we had that in the living room there was one person who was with us we both looked and we saw that it was my boss lady's friend she said what the hell are you doing you two people that was when I made a quick move as my boss lady's husband was speaking with our neighbor. I then rushed to my spare bedroom. I grabbed my phone and I called my auntie. My auntie, she is a witch, a very powerful one. And I said, auntie, oh dear auntie, you need to assist me. And she was like, what is wrong? What is wrong? And I said, I have messed up because I have been sleeping with my boss lady's husband and I've been doing it for quite some time but I have been caught by her friend and I do not want her to tell my boss lady please do something and she was like relax relax girl do not even worry you know me you know me I am going to send my soldiers there. When she said that she was going to send her soldiers to Harare from the village she meant that she was going to send a short boys the Tokoloshis brother nashi it only took that woman for her to walk back to her house before she could even get indoors that was when we had her maid screaming the maid was screaming then this guy rushed and i did not even go there because i knew that my auntie had already done a great job then my boss lady's husband when he returned he said that he had seen something like he had never seen in his life before he said that our neighbor's neck had been twisted and there was white foam that was coming out of her mouth and out of her nostrils and her eyes were wide open he said it was truly scary truly scary so he said he said this woman she then passed away whilst they were taking her to the hospital so so she was the first victim uh, the man then said that we do not need to do this anymore love i love you so much but we need to hang back a little bit but i was already addicted to him i then rushed back to the village and i said auntie this man he does not want to sleep with me anymore what am i supposed to do and i told my aunt to give me some more charms i was then given some charms to blind my boss lady so that she won't see that i am sleeping with her husband and more charms these charms i was supposed to give to my boss lady's husband so that he can get addicted to me sometimes late at night we would wake up and he would come to my room so i think that she suspected something then she caught us one night we were busy busy making love she started fighting with me because of the charms that i had used on her the husband was like crazy he started defending me then the husband said this one is not going anywhere she's going to stay here the mistake that she did brother nash is that at that time i did not even care about her husband but when she said it is fine you can have the house you can have everything then i am moving out i then said ah i never thought about it i never thought that one day i might become the boss lady of this house so i then said if this woman will be out of the picture this means that i will be owning this house and i then spoke with my auntie my auntie sorted her out that same evening when she was on her way the next morning when she was going to her parents house just to refresh when she was on a taxi that was when the car had an accident and it overturned and she was amongst the, pre the three people that died on that accident and she had never informed her friends or her relatives because we were supposed to talk about this the following day and after a funeral my husband then told me that i needed to at least return back to the village but he would come and he would see me we dated each other in secret for almost a year and then he came and he introduced himself to my relatives they knew him anyway so we made it to look like we had not been dating each other many many years later me and him we were blessed by god we have our kids together this is my story brother nashi 
Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear sister. Strange things indeed, they do happen in this world. 